some Saturday haul for you guys today and I'm going to start off with a continual repurchase um, and it's the Eminence Organic Skin Care Strawberry Rhubarb Dermafoliant with Lactic Acid. It's 120 gram 4.2 fluid ounce like aluminum bottle. A product I've been using for a really long time. It is my daily cleanse and exfoliate. So when I wash my face in the morning, I like to shake some of this into my hand and then put a pump of cleanser, usually like a gel or a gentle cleanser, and then work it over my skin. And that's my daily cleanse and like exfoliate because I do use a Retin-A at night. So I do have some skin that can come off in the morning, you know. So again, this is a product I've been using for a really long time. I find it effective yet gentle on my sensitive skin and I was running out of it. So I got another one of these guys. And then I also repurchased the Maybelline Instant an age rewind eraser in the 160 shade which is kind of like the corrector pink shade and this is a product that I have repurchased several times um, it kind of sit around I declutter it and then I want to like use it again you know so I repurchase it um, and you know this product from Maybelline is such a good drugstore concealer you know it's one of those kind of cult classic products that we continually talk about and sometimes when I try so many like new concealers and stuff I always find it interesting that I think that I would go back to try this again and not think it's nearly as comparable as some of the newer, nicer like concealers out there. Um, but it's in the same lineup. I feel like it's just as good as the newer concealers that are coming out. So the only thing about this particular shade, it's got that lovely strong pink undertone, which I really like. Um, and I can use it by itself, but I do wish for a little bit more brightening because after I set it, it does darken just a little bit underneath my eyes so I can kind of see that deeper pink shade, which it does still brighten and kind of cancel some darkness that you might have in that area, but I do wish for a little extra brightness. So um, because again, the formula is so nice, I may go ahead and pick up the lightest version of the concealer like shade and then and kind of mix them which is something that I've done several times in the past with this product but anyway it's just a good one from Maybelline um just as good as the stuff that's coming out nowadays too <laughs> again that's the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser shade 160 I guess I should swatch it right it's got a nice solid medium buildable coverage to it blends out easily lovely coverage nice thin comfortable great product and that's actually everything that I got in that I purchased this week. I know. <laughs> I did place a really large order on Ulta and it's like in a delay somewhere and I purchased it quite a few days ago and it's just still not here. I was hoping for that to be here before um, this weekend's video and so I could try out some of the products that I ordered but it's just not here. So <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to get into some lovely PR packages that was sent to me. This first one is from the indie brand Fantasy Cosmetica. They launched a new collection. They're calling it the Warlock Collection and there's a nine pan eyeshadow palette along with some lip oils. They're also launching the shadows and singles as well and these are all available right now too on the Fantasy Cosmetica website and what I really liked about um, when they sent out the email for PR, like they had like a new form or whatever, and you could kind of look at the collection and see what pieces from that collection you wanted. So instead of like getting the whole collection, because there was like a, um, one of the darker lip oils that I, I had quite a bit of pigmentation. It was one that I knew I, I wouldn't be able to just kind of slap on or I wouldn't wear as much, you know. So I picked the four shades that I knew I would get a lot of use out of. So I really like that aspect when they reached out in PR. The collection also came out with a perfume. It says inspired by dark desires and summoning rituals. It's a dark rose with herbal notes and seductive sweetness. And I did opt out of the fragrance because the fragrance from the brand are just a little bit too rich for me and I can be a bit sensitive to fragrance but let's go ahead and get into the four lip oils that I got and these are a new launch from the brand it does say on the little leaflet that's inside of here that they're made in China shipped from Redmond Washington so the lip oils and the shadow palette so this is the um, box packaging that they come in right here kind of a solid black packaging. So each one of these is five milliliters a piece and these are the four that I opted for. Um, they look a little kind of scary like some of these in the tube but they do sheer out and I like the uniqueness of like the green, the yellow. Well all of them are actually pretty unique to be honest and I'm actually wearing the shade uh, Demon on my lips today. I've just got a lip liner on. It's the one size in shy but fly so i lined with the lip liner and then i put the lip oil over top of it and it's a really comfortable product each one of these has a different kind of a swedish style scent to it that kind of mimics what you think the color would like smell like you know uh, not overbearing they don't taste or anything like that so that's good um so again the shade that i'm wearing is demon 
and it's got some sparkles in it. And it just kind of shears out to a really pretty gray. I love the mixture of like pink and gray for some reason. I've always like for years and years loved that kind of combination. I think it stemmed from way back when I was like probably 15 or something. I was like going through the Vogue magazine and I seen an advertisement with I believe it was Kate Moss and there were some Armani products and something about the combination from that ad just really like resonated and I've always loved that combo since. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> but anyway that one is Demon and then we've got a cream shade uh, called Efreet. It's this guy right here. This one does not have sparkles in it and it kind of like smells like a slight caramel which it looks kind of like a caramel you know so this one is Efreet and then we've got the shade Ancient one this one also is kind of a cream with no sparkle in it and these have got the larger kind of doe foot applicators as well this is like such a pretty one like, see, they've got pigmentation, but they're also slightly sheer. And I like the, kind of just the amount that's in there for the pigmentation. Um, but that one there is Ancient One. And then the last one is the green one. And this one has got some sparkles in it. And this one is the shade Arch Fay. So that one is Arch Fay. Just very unique though, right? And again, they feel super nice, super comfortable on the lips. They are not a sticky product at all, but they still feel substantial. Like I don't feel like for a lip oil, it's sliding all over my lips or anything like that. It stayed pretty well. And then we have got the eyeshadow palette. So this is the Warlock pigment palette right here. This is the sleeve that comes over it. There are nine shades that are 1.5 grams or 0.05 ounces per shade. And this is made in China. The actual packaging mimics the sleeve. It's a cardboard with a magnetic closure on there. And then there is a mirror and then here are your nine eyeshadows and something that fantasy cosmetica has been doing with their eyeshadow palettes is making them magnetized the first couple launches that they did they were not magnetized the newer ones are and then as they've kind of restocked their older, older collections those have also become magnetized so you can pull the shadows out mix them around and stuff like that and originally i didn't think this was going to be a standalone palette for me but i can actually kind of get away with the shine from both this really bright green and this pink kind of duochrome because the shine is like so bright i can make them work to kind of highlight underneath the brow and on the inner corner of the lid so that's great i've also had a lot of fun pairing this with other eyeshadow palettes so there are four like really beautiful shiny shades this one here is definitely a kind of a multi-chrome shade it's very very smooth and then the sparkle on the other three is just super super stunning let's give you some swatches here i've had really good luck with every single palette that i have gotten from fantasy cosmetica i feel like their quality is really really great like you would think like this kind of neon pastel green would feel a bit more chalky because that's kind of the nature of a shade like that but it is super super smooth feeling like when i reference a bag of flour it's like soft like that. <laughs> I was actually torn today of which like eyeshadow palette to share with you guys or which one to wear in today's video I guess I should say and I was kind of going back and forth and then I opted for um, a flower nose one. So <laughs> this look that I did out of this the other day was just absolutely beautiful. I was almost going to wear the exact same look the next day. <laughs> and then these next guys. I feel like um, they also do a, a pretty unique kind of color story as well. Like these kind of pinks and darker shades with those bright greens. But the looks just work. They're just really, really pretty. Like You can even see when I swatch those just how smooth and pigmented those matte shades are as well. And then this last shade, which again is like a deep eggplant and you would think that that would feel much more chalky and dry than it does, but it's very, very soft and very, very smooth. Like super, super outstanding quality. Look at how pretty those are. And yeah, you can even like just look at the swatches and see kind of the smoothness and the softness in the formula. So that is a lovely launch right there from Fantasy Cosmetica. Again, that is their new Warlock palette and a massive thank you to Fantasy Cosmetica for sending over their latest launches.
And then I got two PR packages from ColourPop and I hadn't gotten one for a minute, but they kind of slowed their roll for just a minute there with uh, releasing collections. And now it seems like they're back rolling again. <laughs> so they sent me over their 1111 collection. So it says you're on the right path. It's this guy right here. And this one comes with a 12 pan eyeshadow palette, three shadow sticks. The Lux lipstick, which I didn't get those. I think this collection is going to be an Ulta and I'm going to town um, next Friday. So I'm hoping to kind of swatch the lipstick shades. And then there are three powder blushes. So I got the palette, the shadow sticks, and the pressed powder blushes. ColourPop products are made in the USA. So I'll start off with the blushes because I do have two shades of this on my face today. The outside packaging on this collection is really pretty as per usual. There's 0.21 ounces of product in each shade. So I'll start off with the lightest one that I do not have on today, but I have worn it. It's just a really light, kind of warm, slightly burnt colored nude, but it's a lighter shade. So this one is called Good Energy and it comes in a hard plastic packaging. And this one here, it's got a little bit of sparkle in it, but it's mostly kind of a matte, and I don't feel like any sparkles inside of here adhere on the skin. So again, this one is Good Energy. You can kind of see right there, it is a pretty light blush. And then the shade that I have on as a blush for like my cheeks is the shade Claim It. This one also is a matte formula. So this is the blush shade that I have on right here. It's a little bit more brown, I would say, in comparison to the other shade. So that one right there is Claim It. And then the last shade is actually the shade that I used for a bronzer today because it looked very like burnt and I really like a burnt look for a bronzer. So I actually used it for a bronzer and I really like the way that it looks used as a bronzer as well. So <laughs> this is the shade Message Me and you can see that kind of roasted look <laughs> that it has in the color. And I didn't have to go in too heavy with my brush because it's pretty pigmented. So again, I've got these two shades on my cheeks today. This one for a blush and this one for a bronzer. And this one is the shade Message Me. And those are the three blushes in the collection. And then here is the packaging for the three shadow sticks. It's a total of 1.35 grams or 0 0.048 ounces of product in each of these. There are two shimmer shades and then one matte shade. I'll swatch the matte one first. And I find that these ones in comparison to some of the first launches in their shadow sticks are more creamy and they don't quite set down as quickly as some of the first ones that they used to do in the shadow sticks. They're creamy and more malleable. Like I think of um, this is a product that I'd like to use as a shadow base because it doesn't set down super hard like that. You know, there's you can blend it out. Anyway, this first one here is the matte shade, and this is in Give Me a Sign, or Give Me a Sign, I should say. And the packaging is all a different color, which I also like, so you can see what shade you're grabbing for. I think you can see just how easily that's gliding on, um, how creamy the product is. So that one there is Give Me a Sign. And then we have got So Celestial, which is a really pretty sparkly forest green color. So this one is So Celestial. This one does have sparkle in it. I'll turn it up a little bit here. So that one is So Celestial. And then the last one is Angel Vibes. And this is a really, really pretty metallic color. So if you like to put like something bright and metallic on the inner corner. I think you might really like this guy right here because it's it's a really pretty shiny shade. So that one there is Angel Vibes. And again, because of the creaminess factor to these, these would make really, really good shadow bases as well if you wanted to kind of amp up the um, color in your shadows or switch them up a little bit, you know. So I'll just kind of show you that these have a little bit of play time to them. You can blend them out. And then lastly, we have got the pressed powder palette. Here's the box packaging on this guy. Again, really pretty. This has got that soft kind of matte texture to it. It's a cardboard with a magnetic closure. This guy does not have a mirror. And as usual, the ColourPop shadows are magnetized inside of here as well, which I appreciate. And this one does have 
a pressed glitter kind of formula in this shade right here called Reflect. Um, but the newer pressed glitter formulas from ColourPop have got pigmentation to them, like um, actual color in it in addition to like the micro glitters. And it also has a really good binding base where you can pat it on with your finger and it doesn't feel super crumbly, at least for me. I still use it over um, the Creamy Shadow Base, which is the CoverGirl uh, foundation that I use on my eyes. Um, and it clings really, really well and I don't get fallout through the day. So I can say that I don't mind as much as I used to that there's a pressed glitter in the palette because the formula has gotten so good. And I've actually used that and just tapped it on the lid and it is really pretty with those glitters infused in there as well. And the rest of the shades are very on par, really great color pop quality. So this is the top row. It is a standalone palette for me as well. And then this middle row. Yeah, like I think if I didn't tell you that was like a pressed glitter type shade, you'd think that was just an actual shadow because of the nice pigmentation that's in there. And then this bottom row. And I think I gotta put this on the side here. But a really pretty neutral one, but it's also got like cools and warms in there. So I think it's got some versatility in it for being like a neutral palette. It's really nice. It's got the larger pans too, as opposed to the smaller ones. So that is the 1111 pressed powder palette right there. And there you can kind of see it with the shadow sticks and also the blushes. So you can see the, all of the tones together there. And then also from ColourPop, they sent me over their new Sailor Moon collection. I was super, super excited to get this one as well because it's got like those like ethereal purples and pinks and stuff like that, which I really enjoy. So they sent me over this collection, which this is the second collection that ColourPop has done with Sailor Moon. I really enjoyed the first one as well. So there's the Pressed Powder Palette, which is a 12 shade as well. And then you've also got two cream gel liners. And then there are two Ultra Lip Duos a So Dewy Face Gloss, and then a Pressed Powder Highlighter and a Pressed Powder Blush Shade. I think they're considering both of them highlight shades, but one for me is definitely a blush, and together the highlight and the blush on the cheeks is just super stunning. That was another struggle I was having today with the cheek. I was like, I really wanted to kind of wear the Sailor Moon light combo on the cheeks as well, but then I opted for the more neutral color pop. <laughs> and I'll start off with the face gloss, which is quite interesting. I've never really like went in on my face with a face gloss before, just because I feel like the kind of moisture properties of it are going to pick up my base product. So I haven't used this just yet, but it feels like a gloss oil hybrid lip product without the stickiness. So I'm very tempted to just use it as like a lip oil gloss product because it's got this really beautiful reflect. So we'll see, I'm not 100% sure. If you have gotten this product, I'd love to know how you use it. If you use it on the eyes or you go directly over your base with it or maybe you use it on the lips as well, I'm very interested. But super cute packaging on the entire collection as well. So this has got 2.65 grams or 0 0.09 ounces of product. It comes in a glass jar. And then it does have a little stopper. But here, to kind of show you the viscosity of the product. I think you can see if I go like this. Yeah, I think you can see that. Sometimes I feel like when you can see those things, you can almost feel the viscosity maybe through the lens. <laughs> Just grab some from this little plastic deal here. It's got a really pretty almost like, I would say like a sort of multi-chrome in it. You can see green, purple, and pink in my opinion but I think it would look really pretty on the lips. Should I just go put some on with the lip oil and see what it does like in the center? Okay, yeah. You can see a little bit of the green from that in there. 
It doesn't taste any different than like a lip glossy oil product would. <laughs> you could totally use that as a lip gloss. I think that's probably what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. So that is the face gloss right there. And then there are two gel cream liners. Again, the packaging, very cute on these guys. These have got a total of 0.2 grams or 0.01 ounces of product. And I've actually got on the shade Crystal Tokyo on my waterline today. And I did wipe it off with the Q-tip. I find that the ColourPop gel liners, they go on better for me when I wipe off my waterline with a Q-tip prior to, and they last a little bit longer. And this shade, it does migrate a little bit into the inner corner after a couple hours. Um, but because this particular color is a lighter shade, I just don't notice it as well. So it's not that big of a deal to me as opposed to if it was a darker color. So I will be using this guy on the waterline again. It's what I have got on today and it's a blue teal with a gr shiny like green in it. It's very, very pretty. So I'll give you a swatch right here. I did kind of have to layer it up. So I put one layer on, let that dry and then went over it again to get it a little bit more opaque and it grabbed on easier like that. So that is the Crystal Tokyo shade. And you can see that yellowy green shimmer in it. And the other shade is Azabu Juban and it is a purple with like a pinky shimmer in it. So this guy right here again is the shade Azabu Juban. And I think how I would use this one is kind of like maybe an eyeshadow base or something like that to amp up some purples. Um, cause sometimes purples on my waterline can make my eyes look a little bit bloodshot for whatever reason. Cause I ha tend to have a more red eye anyway. <laughs> there are also two lip duos. There's the Celestial Powers lip duo. So each one of these comes with a glossy lip and an ultra blotted lip. And I actually wore this yesterday. And that one size lip liner that I showed you earlier, um, the Shiba Fly, is like the exact kind of color of this ultra matte lip. Like they match perfectly. And then I tap this gloss over the center and it looked really great like that because this is a really pretty warm nude. Um, and the Blotted lips from ColourPop are like that silicone based matte formula. It's not one of those drying like bulletproof formulas. It's got some give to it, but it's a, a silicone based kind of blurring lip formula. So again, this one here is the Celestial Powers Duo and you've got the gloss and the ultra blotted lip. The ultra blotted lip is called Sail Sailor Fuku. So here is Sailor Fuku right there. And then the gloss is called Transformation. It is so pretty. It's also got kind of that yellow greenish kind of flip in it. And when I use it, I put it on my fingers instead of going the wand directly over that. Cause again, that doesn't set down like a bulletproof mat and I didn't want to get the wand dirty, <laughs> but it does look really pretty. Like if I were to take some and kind of just tap it on there like that, you can kind of see what it looks like together sort of. So that one was the Celestial Powers duo. And then the next one is the Heroines duo. Again, a glossy lip and a blotted lip. This combination is also really, really pretty. So we've got the ultra blotted lip in Sailor Star, which is a cool tone purple pink. And so for this one right here, I would use it like that blurring lip. I'd put some on and then I'd take my finger and blur it out on the lips to kind of get that more sheer pink. And then the gloss that's in this one is the shade Pretty Guardian. And it is a really beautiful shimmer as well. So there's the gloss in Pretty Guardian. And then let me grab a little bit with my finger. Or just grab my swatch there and kind of tap it over there. So you can see what they look like together. So that duo again is the uh, Heroines Lip Duo. And then we've got the two pressed powder highlighters, which absolutely love the packaging on these. So again, they're calling them both highlighters, um, but the one shade is definitely a blush on me and together the lighter highlight with that deeper highlight together on the cheek as a blush and highlighter is so pretty. I wore them yesterday along with the palette and just 
adored the look that came out of it. So these guys here, 0.23 ounces of product in each one. These are also cardboard with a magnetic closure and I love that the kitty is a different color on each one. So the white kitty's got the lighter highlighter in it and the dark kitty's got the darker highlighter or blush for me in it. I love that little touch. So we'll start off with the highlighter in Moonlight. So this is Moonlight right here. These are magnetized inside of the packaging as well if you wanted to remove them. This is very much a more traditional powder highlight formula. There's not a ton of like that really wet looking sparkle or anything like that, but it's got this really beautiful shift in it. And I do like to kind of use this with the base. So like, um, I really, really like these highlighter sticks from ColourPop. Uh, this one is from their Winx collection. Um, I use these a lot for bases because I do have that drier skin type. And those Winx highlighters in particular have got some really beautiful like shifty duochrome. So they pair well with a lot of different highlighters that I like. So that's how I've used this and I just, I think it's so pretty like that is about as ethereal as it gets. So no chunks of like glitter or sparkle or anything like that. It's just kind of a, a nice sh powder sheen and it's got blue, purple, and pink, which is, you guys know how I feel about that combination. It's one of my favorites. So that is Moonlight right there. And then we've got Moon Kingdom, which is the darker one. And I have worn, again, these two together. Same vibe with the pink, purple, blue kind of aspect to it, but a deeper version. So on my skin tone paired together, I just love it. So I'll put it like this, right? And then I'll grab a little more and kind of blend it like this so you can kind of see the transition or the blend of them together when I put them on the cheeks. It's just so pretty. Super, super pretty. So that guy right there is Moon Kingdom. And then lastly, we have got the Pressed Powder Palette. So this guy's got a total of 14.2 grams or 0.5 ounces is what it says on the packaging. It is super, super cute as well. This one has got the smaller pans that ColourPop does. It also has that soft kind of matte texture to the packaging, a cardboard with a magnetic closure. And then this guy doesn't have a mirror, which I don't mind because I don't use the mirrors and palettes really anyway. This one's got a couple of that Pressed Glitter Formula. And again, I don't mind the newer pressed glitter formulas from ColourPop. When I wore this palette yesterday, I actually put this pressed glitter in Starlight on the majority of the lid and the twinkle shade on the inner portion, and it looked super, super pretty. So I don't mind them anymore because they're, it's a much better formula than it used to be. And I was a little apprehensive about this being a standalone for me, but I went in with this purple shade in the crease, and then I blended out with this blue and kind of this periwinkle. And it worked, it was deep enough for my skin tone, but that is the deepest shade and I'm pretty fair. So just a little something to take into consideration if you like a deeper eyeshadow. Um, these are magnetized in here as well, so you can interchange them out with other ColourPop shades as well. So ColourPop does a ton in the smaller pans. You could like easily pull a deeper shade out and interchange them, you know? So let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches. I love the etherealness of color combinations like this. The, this is that pressed glitter. You can see just how much like pigment is in that. Like color pigment, you know? And then this middle row. There's that other pressed glitter shade. Yeah, and I wore those um, pressed glitters directly over shadow base, and it was great. And then the bottom row here. This is a matte base with a bunch of sparkle in it, and I actually found that the sparkle translated in that shade. There's just a ton of sparkle in a matte base. It was actually really, really pretty. Let's get a little bit more here. So that guy right there is the pressed, oh, let's get her all in frame here. That's the pressed powder palette right there and then there are the face products. So like a look with these, very ethereal, very pretty. 
So that is the For Love and Justice Pressed Powder Palette from ColourPop in Sailor Moon. And a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending me over their latest launches. And then I got a package from Flower Nose with some pieces from their new Swan Ballet collection. And I was tracking this package every single day since it shipped. And I was so, so excited to get it because the promo pictures that I was seeing all over Instagram just looked so stunning, which uh, Flower Nose is one of my favorite Chinese indie brands. It's actually one of my favorite indie brands period. <laughs> I just love their stuff. I love their packaging. Their uh, powders from the Circus Collection are some of my favorite under eye setting powders that I've ever tried like ever. And so in this one here I actually didn't get sent the powders so I'm going to be ordering those. And I was excited to get this and I didn't place an order for the other pieces yet because I didn't know what was going to be in the PR package. So I will be placing an order for the remainder of the like glitter shadows um, the blushes and then also the face powders. Am I missing something? I probably am, but I will be placing an order for those products as well. So look at how pretty the box packaging is. And this is like a sturdy, like collector style box. I know that they also sell the, the entire collection in like a collector's jewelry case, which that looks super pretty as well. Um, so that is also available if you were interested in this, but let me get into the pieces. They're so stunning. And I'll start off with the Flower Nose Swan Ballet Series Paddle Hairbrush. I don't believe they've ever done a hairbrush before. But this is the box packaging. I just adore, I adore the swans. The artwork on here is super stunning. I'm going to say stunning, beautiful, pretty, all of that probably way too many times and it might get annoying. <laughs> so this is the brush. Um, I may never use it. I may just leave it out and look at it. But it does actually look like a really functional brush. Like it reminds me of the wet brush. So I think that I would actually really like this for combing out my hair after a shower. Whether or not I'm going to use it or not, time will tell. It is a lighter weight um, hairbrush, but very decorative, very pretty. They also sent over one of the hand mirrors. There are three total in the collection. This is the creamy white. Again, that's the box packaging. And here is the mirror. So it's got the colored swan on there. Again, very, very pretty. There is a sticker on there still. And this is so pretty. I kind of want to get the black and the pink version of this as well. So that is the creamy white hand mirror. There are also two sets of their little puffs, like little makeup puffs, so like a, a finger style puff. So if you like to use a puff to kind of set underneath your eye. It's kind of an easy one. I think that it kind of would go well with the powders. There are also two Love Blush brushes. This is the packaging for each one of those. So they each have a translucent handle, one with kind of a blue hue to it, and then one with a pink hue. Um, these ones here are circular all the way around, and so they're kind of meant to be used with their powder blushes. I actually have got some cream from the ColourPop highlighter because I use this to put um, some cream on for highlight base earlier, but that's I've also used this with the blushes too, which are really soft. Um, but these are really soft brushes so that they pick up the product quite nicely without making too much of a disturbance. And they're quite small and I have relatively large hands and I usually hold a brush way at the end. So these I do have to get a little bit used to because my hand is so close to kind of the bristles. But again, I do have very like big hands. <laughs> so those are the two brushes and you can see kind of the detail of the lace. Like it's like a corset almost look on there. And then it says flower nose right there. They also sent over one in each color packaging of their lipsticks. These are officially called the Swan Ballet Series Shine Lipsticks. So you can see each color has got a different color packaging right there. And these are also, again, like you guys are going to hear me say over and over, these are so pretty. They've got such an intricate, detailed um, design on them. These are a click style packaging, but they're, they're nice and weighted. There's a light pink and a light peach shade that I'm going to order as well when I do my online order. These ones are, they're kind of mid-tone shades, but they sheer out as well. So I'll swatch them and then I'll kind of sheer them out with my finger because you probably won't go on with that shine factor as heavy as they're going to swatch. So I'll start off with, uh, I believe it is 802 in the pink packaging. So this one here is 802 right here, and they are very shiny. So here's 802, right there. You can see, see that they do swatch lighter than they kind of initially appear in the bullet. And then we've got 809 
in the white packaging. So this one is 809. That one is 809, right there. And then we've got 806, and I should show you the little ballet detail on the top as well. I'm trying to see if you guys can see how cute this packaging is. So again, this one is 806, right here. It's a pinky one. That one is 806. And again, the formula, it's a thicker formula, but it's very shiny. And because it has that thicker formula with all of that shine, it's not as slippery because of the thicker formula, if that makes sense. It stays like pretty well on the lips, you know? So if you were to like shear it out with your finger, this is what kind of a color you would end up with. And there really isn't a scent to them. They don't really smell like anything, to be honest. They also sent me four out of five of their liquid eyeshadows. So this is what the box packaging on these guys look like. These all have got the same color blue packaging. And then the actual packaging has got the swan on it. Again, with that kind of intric intricate detail on the cap. And you can see the little uh, ballet slippers on there. And these are nice and weighted as well. So this, my hair is just bugging the sh** out of me. <laughs> So this first one is the shade 03, and I've got this ever so lightly kind of on the upper portion right there. It's like a silver glitter, and they are called liquid eyeshadows, but I would say they're like glitter toppers. They also look really pretty by themselves, and they work great as toppers right off the brush, and I don't find that they fall out or feel like irritating on my eyes at all. I really like them. I will be buying the fifth one that I don't have of this as well. So let me go ahead and give you guys some swatches. Again, this first one is 03 right here. Yeah, and again, these are like glitters, so... This is the one that I've got tapped over a little bit on my eyeshadow, which to be honest, the shadows that I used were so pretty and shiny that I didn't really need to put the glitter on top of it, but I wanted to kind of use the products together, you know? And then we've got the shade 02, which is a gold with some multi-dimensional glitters in it. I see gold, I see holographic, and I see silver uh, glitters inside of there. So this one is 02 right here and I mean I think you can see too just like how opaque they are for like glitter style products like that and I find them very easy to use so that one is 02 and then we have got 01 this one's got the largest particles out of the four that I have there's like a, a multi-dimensional purple green pink in this guy and again this one is 01 right here Kind of a bit more holographic in this one. Got a little more here. So that one is 01 right there. Probably also, I would say, the least opaque out of the bunch, but again, you've got those larger glitter particles in that one. And then the last one is 04. And this one's got the finer glitters in it. And I see blue, green, gold and kind of some purpley blue in this one. So again, that one is 04 right there. And then I've got two of their embossed blushes. So here is the packaging right here. There are five of these in total, so I will be ordering the other three. I believe one of them is like a face powder shade as well. These ones are blushes. Now these do run pretty light, which is kind of in line with Flower Nose blushes in general. They do run quite light, but that's kind of the style of makeup. It's very dainty. So this packaging is so nice and it's weighted as well. It feels substantial, even though it looks kind of maybe like it would be plasticky in the hands, it feels substantial. It's very, very nice, really, really pretty. This is actual packaging, no stickers, nothing of the sort. Very, very, very lovely. 
um, I want to get the other three again and they all have different colors on them so we will start off with number three which is the baby blue packaging and this one here is a cool tone pink which is right up my alley um, you can definitely be very very generous when you use these these both had really pretty embossings on them with a swan in the center I have destroyed it <laughs> and then I also wanted to make note that um, these appear to be a baked jelly formula. They feel more like a, a powder product, but they're not encased in a pan. And they have like that rounded edge that a baked jelly product has. And there are baked jelly um, shadows in the palettes as well. So I want to go with a baked jelly with a softer formula to it. Which, what, what did I haul last week that was similar? It was made... Oh, the What's Up Beauty highlighters. Those were also baked jelly, but also really soft. And baked jelly products, like the Made in Italy ones, which is typically where baked jelly is made, they always have a little bit more firm formula. The What's Up Beauty highlighters and also these powders are much softer, but they have that baked jelly style in them. So I find that really interesting. <laughs> anyway, this is the number three Silky Ribbon shade right here. And it is a cool toned baby pink which again I love and the other shade is number five dreamy season and this has got the peachy pink light peachy pink swan on there and this is a light peachy pink now I'd say it's more of a peach but also a very light shade this one I did have to really kind of build up to get it a little bit more opaque on my skin But I love those tones. I just think that they look so pretty. So that one there is number five, uh, Dreamy Season. Again, let's look at this packaging. It's so, so pretty. And then for the grand finale, at least I feel like it's the grand finale, I got all three of the eyeshadow palettes, which I was so excited about. Like the packaging, the color stories, I love everything about all three of these. One of the palettes could have a little bit deeper matte shade for the crease, but I was able to grab one from one of the other ones to make it work. But other than that, I can use them all. And so I've actually got on the palette in number two, Black Swan, on my eyes today. I've worn this one a couple times, and it's, it's one that I gravitate towards because it's got those really rich rich blacks. <laughs> yeah, but they are. They're rich black grays in there with also a really kind of true red shade. But once you blend into the white, it kind of turns a little bit pink which red and white make pink you know <laughs> so this is the box packaging for these guys these also come in all different color packaging um flower nose does not skimp on the attention to detail i just i just live for it we'll go ahead and start off with the black swan one that i have got on so this is number two again black swan look at this packaging so there's a black swan and a white swan with a black background it is just stunning. So again, each one of these has got two baked jelly shades. They're so pretty and so sparkly. Like, I, again, I didn't feel like I needed to go over um, the shadow with that sparkly glitter, but I wanted to use it. Um, they don't need anything, any help or anything like that. I have seen them being used over the matte shadows. I like them directly over base, like eyeshadow base, and they're stunning. They're just absolutely beautiful. They have got the most pretty shine. So this is like a silver, right? But it's got some other multi-dimensional sparkles in it. Like you can see like pink and a blue and a silver. Like they're just really, really stunning. And this has got a pinky shift to it as well with those really multi-dimensional sparkles in it. And again, they're like the baked jelly formula. Um, hopefully you can tell in these swatches just how beautiful they are. I am just over the moon about all of the baked jelly shades in these palettes. And they're easy to use. They're not super hard pressed or anything like that. They pick up really lovely on a brush, as do the mattes. Look at how pretty those are. And then here are our matte shadows, these four in the center. And they're buttery, buttery soft, and they're very pigmented. I do, especially with those, the like the black and the gray, make sure to tap your brush off because, again, they are quite soft. Not a ton of fallout, though, I don't get when I tap my brush off. Go directly over shadow base. And they blend out great. Very easy to use. And I love this. I love this. I, I love all three of them. But this one may be my favorite. <laughs> 
So that is the one in Black Swan right there. And then this one is the lightest one. This is number one, White Swan. So when I used this one, I did bring in the gray from the Black Swan shade. So this one right here. So I put that kind of in the outer portion and then I went over it with this brown. Let me show you the packaging real quick. <laughs> Getting a little excited here. And this one's got two White Swans on the cover surrounded by the white. And again, both of these shadows here are baked gelée and these four in the middle are mattes. And again, I feel the same way about the formula in all three of these. And there were like pretty corset embossings and ballerina slippers embossed in the shadows, but I think for the most part I've I have destroyed the embossing in all of the shades. <laughs> So here are the matte ones. So again, this is the lightest, kind of softest palette out of the three. And that one is number one, White Swan, right there. Ooh. I'll show all three packagings together so you can see them in a row because they're just so, so, so pretty. And the last one is number three, Pink Swan. This has got a pink swan and a white swan and it's surrounded by pink. Again, with that attention to detail, you know, you could, this is like textured as well. So I, if you can kind of hear that. And this one is a easily a standalone uh, for me. These are the two baked jelly shades and they're stunning as well. I'm running out of arm here. And then you've got your four mattes in the middle. Would it be ridiculous of me to buy a backup of Black Swan so that I have the embossing? Because the embossing is the same in each palette, but they're different in each pan. So that I'd have one, <laughs> one pristine um, embossed palette, which I'm sure I'm being ridiculous, but... So that one is pink based. And again, that one is a standalone for me. This one deepens up the crease really nice. And then this kind of pinky shade blends it out nice as well. And these here underneath the brow and on the lid, stunning. So that guy right there is number three, Pink Swan, right there. And then here's the packaging of all of them together, just so you can see how pretty they are. I adore, I just adore this brand. A massive thank you to Flower Nose for sending me over those products. I cannot wait to get my hands on the face powders because again, their powders are some of the best, the best in the business. And the circus powder is some of my favorite in my whole collection. I've got a ridiculous amount of backups. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try the new ones from the ballet series as well. They're just such stunning products. I get so excited. I'm so passionate. <laughs> And then last but definitely not least, I got a couple skincare items. Paula's Choice came out with a new vitamin C serum. So it says, meet the future of vitamin C on the packaging. And then inside there is a 25% vitamin C plus glutathione clinical serum, which I've been kind of learning a little bit about glutathione. They say it's a good one for supplements. Um, love to know an opinion if you guys have one on that particular ingredient, both topical and ingestible but it says correct sun damage and discoloration zero percent irritation advanced clinical potency 94 percent saw less discoloration um i do have to be careful with vitamin c my skin can kind of act uh sensitive and funny to it sometimes um the last vitamin c products that uh Paula's Trace came out with, there was an eye cream and also a face cream, I believe it wasn't a serum, it was a cream, I believe. I got along with those really well. Um, with this particular product, because of the percentage, I'm a little apprehensive. And then not only that, but, so I like to go in and get like a BBL treatment on my skin, right? And the last one that I got, because I've always been such a heavy sunscreen wearer, and actually all of the BBLs I've ever gotten, they're, the first, very first one, I had maybe just a few like little spots that deepened and then they like fall off. 
if you don't know what a BBL is, it's a treatment that will lift and take off like years of sun damage off your face. Like the pigment turns deep and then it falls off. You are not to pick it off. You just let it naturally fall off. So I just don't have a lot of sun damage either. So I'm again, a little apprehensive because of the amount of vitamin C in this product. And then I don't have a lot of sun damage. I really don't have a lot of pigment at all. So again, the last BBL that I got, which I think was like two months ago, I didn't have a single like brown spot that deepened from the treatment that came off my face. So that's good. It means my sunscreen's working. <laughs> but a huge thank you to Paula's Choice for sending over this guy. And then I also got a little package from Saturday Skin, which makes some really lovely products. There's quite a few products from Saturday Skin that I use frequently. I do like several products from the Saturday Skin range. So they sent over this little headband here. It's got some worms on it. And I actually use headbands uh, for when I shower to help from getting my hair wet when I'm not washing it. And then they also sent me over their Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm, which is one of my favorite cleansing balms. This is the closest cleansing balm that I have found to the Pharmacy Green Clean. Like it's got a very similar texture and it works very similar to Pharmacy. And I love it just as much and it smells just delish too. So there's a little spatula inside of there. And then here is your cleansing balm. So because the formula of this is very similar to pharmacy, I can also use this when I travel singularly as a double cleanse. So I'll initially use it to get off all my makeup and then I'll go in with some more and really work it into the skin for a second cleanse. And I love traveling with products like this because it's just like my one and done double cleanse, you know, so I really like this too. So this is a 3.38 fluid ounce jar and it's got a really lovely scent but it's not overpowering or anything like that and it's just really gentle on the skin again it's a really good cleansing balm it's one of my favorites i've gone through quite a few of these i've actually purchased this product as well and a huge thank you to saturday skin for re-upping me on this product and how about that lip oil from fantasy cosmetica i have been drinking water in the interim of talking and filming this video and it's still there and it still looks pretty nice. So that's cool. But that is everything that I have for my video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.